Hello again, welcome back. I'm Becky, and today we're going to be testing a new glue that I got in the mail, Gorilla PVC Gorilla Brand Premier Glue, which is said to have virtually no odor, and it claims to be more eco-friendly and cleansable with water. The first thing that I immediately notice is different is the applicator on this. Look at this. It looks like candy, but it's this poof, it's this pom-pom sphere of fibers that are fully saturated with this glue. And what does it smell like? Ugh, it's a bad smell. It smells like body odor and cut grass and like off food. It smells really bad, but it doesn't smell very strong. It's not odorless, but it's certainly odorless compared to this glue. By the way, when I looked this up on Amazon, one of the critical reviews mentioned that this is not Gorilla Glue and that this brand might be hijacking the brand of Gorilla Glue. Notice that it never says Gorilla Glue, it says Gorilla PVC, Gorilla Brand Premier Glue, Gorilla Clear Prima Glue, whatever that's worth. So first I'm going to make the small prototype with this Gorilla PVC glue because I really can't wait to try it out. I'm going to use the applicator that is in the can so that I can fully compare it to the brush that's in this can. Okay, so I've applied the Gorilla PVC glue to this prototype. The first thing that I notice that's different is the effect that this has on the vinyl. It's really interesting. So first, I want you to notice the amount of stretch in the unglued vinyl. Then, check out the amount of stretch in the glued vinyl. It's incredibly stretchy. This glue seems to degrade the vinyl in a very specific way that is unlike what I've experienced with the HH66 glue. I'm gonna give this a proper weekend to, to set and bond, but if I can get this glue to work as well as the HH66, that'd be great for my health. You can just tell by the way this smells that this is not as bad for your health. The other thing that came in today is new material. This is a heavy duty vinyl shower curtain that was the cheapest way to get colorful vinyl. I wanted to make a complex shape out of this that would be like an inflatable wig or a helmet. So I did some sketching to figure out what it should be like. Because it's so complex, I decided to make a template on the laser cutter. You can see it's a it's it's like a diamond basically that's cut up in different ways. I actually cut this out of a test page from our big printer, our plotter. So I'm going to use this template to apply Sharpie onto this vinyl and then follow those guides with HH66 first, and then later with the Gorilla PVC glue to compare and contrast them. I do need tape. That was wonderfully effective. Yay, templates. Templates are great. What is this gonna look like? I've decided I'm just gonna use the HH66 today instead of bulk glues because I wanna see how this form turns out and also because I wanna see how my first prototype turns out with the Gorilla PVC glue. Here we go. This template is officially the bomb. All I have to do is align two dots to make sure that the rest of them are perfectly aligned. This squeeze bottle gives me so much great control over how much glue I apply. It really allows me to have an ideal amount to split between the two pieces after I've smooshed them together. All right, well that's done. I'm gonna let this prototype and this prototype sit over the weekend and we will inflate them next week. It's another day and I have two prototypes to test. Number one, I have the small vinyl pillow that I've glued with Gorilla Brand Gorilla PVC Premier Glue. So I'll be able to blow this up and compare this to similar prototypes that I've made with the other glue that I've been using, which is the HH66 Vinyl Cement. I'm really excited to see what happens with this, so I'm gonna blow this one up first. I'm setting the pump up to about half power. If you wanna see the pump code that I've used in the past, check out the link to my website in the description box below. I have a whole video on it.
Okay, so results. There's one major leak that I think is the result of my gluing. The leak is here where I have folded the pillow instead of sandwiching two separate pieces of sheet vinyl together. This seems to be losing a lot of air in other leaks that I can't identify with my face. I guess I'll have to prototype this again in the same way that I had to repeatedly prototype with the HH66 to achieve a reliable airtight seal. Thankfully, I won't have to wear a half mask respirator the whole time I do that because the odor on this is so less offensive. I will say that if you remember how stretchy it was in the past, now the stretch is more comparable. Now this has been setting for a few days and it did remain floppy and stretchy up until pretty recently. So this might take even longer to cure than the HH66 does. I think what I need to do next is make two identical prototypes using the two different glues and see if there are any significant differences between the otherwise identical prototypes. But before I do that, I get to blow up another prototype. This is made with the HH66 and it was made with this squeeze bottle. Whoa. Check this out. This is definitely airtight. This is not losing air at a significant rate. I wanted all of these to fold down. Look at that. This is cool. Well, I think this template and squeeze bottle situation is a win. I'm all about the template. Next. Now that's a smell I do like. Perfect. Free magnet. It is a cheap magnet, but still it's free. Sourcing sheet vinyl is harder than sourcing a cheapo shower curtain. But it's it. Ta-da! Uh-oh. It smells like, um... Cancer? No. Okay, here's a story. When I was a kid, my parents had this shower curtain that they only took out at Christmas because it was like Santa taking a bath. That's what it smells like. And so yeah. right now it smells like Christmas to me and I know that's a weird thing to say. Yeah, vinyl smells like Christmas to you. Can I keep that in the video? Uh, it depends on how I look. <laughs> Good sure. thing your hair looks amazing. Thanks. Ta-da! Time to cut. Come here, squeeze bottle. The other glue makes me lightheaded. This glue makes me want to throw up. This doesn't bond as quickly as the HH66. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this says nuisance mask only. This is definitely a nuisance. Always gotta have your glasses on the outside of the mask. <laughs> okay, so based on this prototype, I have learned that it takes about five minutes for that stretchy, gooey quality to come to the vinyl. And it really is gooey. All right, so here's me poking on the material raw. Here's me poking on the gooey part. It like comes right out. Oh, oh no, I put a hole in it. <laughs> This really degrades the vinyl. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> okay, this becomes very fragile then. Cool. The parts that I just glued a minute or two minutes or three minutes ago even don't have that quality. They're starting to get smoother, but they're not quite so puckered as the other pieces. This one was about six minutes ago. This one was about one minute ago. Moving on. Can't forget my nuisance mask. That's a nearly puke number two. The nuisance mask is not working. What's your favorite inflatable object? Comment below. All right, it's been a day. This is still very much in its rubbery and floppy state, so I'm actually not sure if I'll break it by inflating it. But the instructions do say that I only need to wait 60 minutes before applying pressure, so we'll see. I have like 15 minutes before I have to run to an interview. Okay, here we go.
Well, that didn't go well. First of all, there's a big hole right here, which, how did that even happen? But when I close that one off, I'm gonna try again. There seem to be a lot of leaks. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. My disappointed mind wants to say that maybe this glue, Gorilla PVC, is not as good as HH66, but my science mind is telling me maybe I'm just much better at using HH66 than Gorilla PVC at this point, which means that I'm going to have to keep prototyping. And go back to square one, which is achieving a solid seam on a little square. So. I'm going to do that real quick. I've got to say this applicator is pretty great. The way it gets so saturated means that I don't have to go back into the glue as often. But man, does it smell bad. Okay. All right, we're on what, day three or day four or something like that? It's time to blow this guy up. I did inspect some of my seams and... I already know there's a leak right here, which really bums me out. But you know what? Let's blow it up and see what happens. All right. Oh. I'm plugging the leaks. So I have the pump just connecting to a hole in the material. There we go. Now it's holding well. Okay. It has two leaks poking them right now. The results are, I think I can form an airtight seal if I don't poke holes in it. I did a pretty messy job of putting the valve in, and because of that, two problems occurred. Number one, a leak formed around the edge where the valve and the pillow meet. Number two, we saw where I put a hole in that other prototype. Well, this prototype has a hole too. So I have a new hypothesis at the end of this video, and that is that I'm applying too much of the Gorilla PVC glue. Actually, ever since I made the first prototype out of the Gorilla PVC glue, I've been looking for ways to apply glue with more control, better than just the squeeze bottle. And I had this memory to when I used to be a secretary, and I used to close a lot of envelopes. So I have sourced sponge tip applicators. These are for filling with water to then slowly squeeze out onto envelopes so that we don't have to lick every envelope, which can, by the way, give paper cuts on tongues. Shout out to all the office workers in the world. In my next video, I'm going to try making even better Gorilla PVC glue pillows. I want to be able to achieve a reliable airtight seal, and I'm going to be using these tools in the next video to check it. If you'd like to see more of the explorations I've done around vinyl, check out my channel for more videos, or you can check out my website, again, link in the description below. If this video was helpful or interesting or fun at all, please smash that like button, that thumbs up right below. As always, let me know in the comments below how you found this video, what are you working on, what are your projects, and while you're liking and commenting, why not subscribe? I post new videos every week, and I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the time I graduate, so please be one of those 100. Can I touch it? It's wet on the bottom, but you can touch it. It's like mushrooms. It's a mushroom. Is this in my video? Yeah.